Comedy Seller Nightly Podcast. Hey, my name's Ian Fidance, and I am joined by esteemed colleagues, friends, family, the great Dean Del Rey, Lynn yeah. Coppitz, Mayron Kagani, and the one, the only, SD. SD! Thank you, everybody, for, for tuning in uh, to come spend another lovely night with us. Uh, I'm Thank very you happy. for keeping your closet door open, you weirdo. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Lynn. My closet <laughs> door does not... I don't have a door to my closet. I tore it off in 2007 to use it as a beer pong table, and I never put it back. <laughs> You've been living there since 2007? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Same room. Hey, Joe, yeah. mommy. Mommy's on the phone. Please come yeah. take it because I'm there. So. Yeah, video <laughs> since 2007. And uh, I, I've i been back and forth, but I've been on the lease since 2007. I'm like a Williamsburg slumlord. It's great. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. Are you in LA? I am still in LA, yeah. I understand that the numbers are going up there, huh? Yeah, uh, LA, Arizona, and Texas. And right. then I just saw the disturbing story of Vegas. Just no, no uh, six feet apart. Everybody's, no one's got masks on. Did you see that over the weekend? No. Well, I've noticed here that, that people are not as diligent as, as they were up to last week. And yeah. with this demonstration and protesters, although a lot of people do wear masks, you see so many without, you know, it's very disturbing. It's, the it's bar what? It's like people think it's gone. It's so yeah. bizarre to me. Yeah. Yes. What about, what about San Diego? Is there? I got to be in San Diego first weekend in July. Is it? Uh, are the numbers okay? You're well, gonna the, get it. They're doing comedy in San Diego, which is pretty interesting. Like Russell Peters doing like seven shows this weekend. Who that? No. Russell, Russell Peters. Peters. And, and then uh, Brian, Brian Brian Regan's doing the weekend after him, right? And, and I, then I, I, and then a little comic by the name of Ian Fidance is uh, yeah. that and clean up. <laughs> I'm not really looking to get on airplanes right now and uh, and go. Hey, listen, this has been like she flew to LA, she flew to Florida. I mean, mm-hmm. some people are included. Liz. Liz. Oh, yeah, Liz? So, our list, yeah. And then I know other people that fly. Robert had a gig last weekend. He flew down. Um, yeah. So I, I tell you the truth, I don't know what to think anymore. Because I don't either. And here we sat for two and a half, three months, like prisoners. Yeah. And now suddenly it's like a free for fall. You know? That's right. I, 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 I don't know what to think. It's... um. I think that if you can, um, if you don't go crazy, just still sit back and see what uh, what happens, you know? That's exactly right. We don't know if we like how the second wave is going to play out, if it's going to play out. We know that- They, they, they said are, that it's going they to said play the second out. wave is going to be in September. Yeah. yeah. And states that opened early, 22 of them have had, like the numbers have shot up. Really? But have have what about the number of hospitalizations and deaths? Have they shot up as well? Yeah, yeah. they went up. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, they. Uh, and what's really interesting, I'll tell you something really crazy, is uh, the numbers shot through the roof in L.A. But in the NorCal, San Francisco area, uh, no new cases in three days in San Francisco, which is pretty uh, pretty amazing. But they said I got a friend that works at the homeless, and he said. None of the homeless in NorCal have got this. Really bizarre. No homeless. Well, we don't know like, if, if they got it and they just walked it off. They're very good at that. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 if there's one thing you could say about homeless, they know how to weather a storm. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you imagine? Walk it off, man. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, no, I think I think that's the thing is that nobody knows. We came to New York to pick up our mail and it was like one third of the people were wearing masks. Cops were not wearing masks. No, like, no, I haven't when, seen a cop when did you mask. when did you come? When did you it come? The first of May. I came uh we just came to literally grab our mail that we you can only put a I guess a 30 per, a 30 day hold on your mail. And so we didn't want our apartment to look like a mark. Oh, okay, cuz in the last like 2 weeks people have lightened up but like I would say uh all of april people got intense and may too people got crazy like when that first month was over the second month i i had a literally a tape measure in my purse and if i sat like in the dog park and somebody was like this is enough right i would pull it out and be like no it's not oh, yeah. that's six feet go i got in fun yeah, some, some people don't give a fuck it's bizarre they're, just they're young like, a lot of the younger people don't care Walking down the street, looking at their phone, you know, right, India. They're like, what are you doing, man? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. But it's like, um, we also need fresh air. We also need human contact. Like, I mean, MIT uh, released this whole thing about like extending your bubble. Like if you have a group of people that you trust, then you sort of add them to your that's bubble. What I, that's what I've been doing. Yeah. And because, yeah. You, you know, the expectation that people should go without human contact, without you know, fresh air without all of these things, that's also to the detriment of one's health. Yeah, my well, poor not, neighbors I, have- I go out every day. Yeah, same, but I'm in the woods. <laughs> yeah, I, I just go, I, I hike in the Hollywood Hills yeah. and uh, I see people and they're, you know, they'll cross the street or whatever, it's, it's pretty cool. But I yeah. get about six miles in a day because, uh, you gotta, you gotta stay healthy also at the same yeah. time, you know? And yeah. I'm not a germaphobe, I've never been a germaphobe. Uh, but I, I, you know, I don't wanna be getting sick. It's like, no, no comedy's worth getting sick. That's for sure. And you know? like different- I disagree. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> different people come out of COVID also with like different degrees of sort of recovery. My brother got it very early. He was in New Orleans when like the big boom happened in New Orleans and he absolutely caught COVID and uh, his breathing, he still, he says it's still not a hundred percent and he caught it in like the very first wave. Like he caught it oh, wow. in February. Can, yeah. can I change the subject for one yes. second? Sure. Ian, what did I recently see you on where you were dancing? Oh, uh, the last OG on TBS. The last OG, you were so funny. Oh, thanks. Thank you. You were amazing. I loved Thank it. You, thanks. Yeah, you were really good. Oh my God, did you guys see it? No, I didn't. No. You have I to watch it. I have TV in 10 hey. years. <laughs> Ian play, e okay, well you have to watch it. Ian plays this drunk that keeps trying to get um, like all the girls to dance with him and, and Tracy, it, it, like he keeps cock blocking Tracy and he is so funny when you were pooping in the stall <laughs> oh my god you gotta Thanks, watch man. it that's yeah, it was funny. really fun yeah, yeah it was a good time I my all my scenes were with Tracy it was wild it was like a, it was you were so funny with him it was I loved it ah that means a lot thank you Lynn I appreciate that yeah it was really now, great. watch watch this segue <laughs> I'm on the um I'm very excited about the King of Staten Island that's coming out. Oh, oh, comes out tonight at midnight. Is that yeah. right? I was yeah. about to say, I saw the movie and you are terrific in it. The movie really? is wonderful. Yeah, Jack it's, said it's a great it movie. a month ago or so. Uh, and I, when you were finishing with Ian, I said, well, if we get, talk about compliments, I want to compliment you. Great Thank job. Thank you. Thank you, SD. It wait. was really fun. It, I think it's a good movie, don't the you? The movie is fantastic. And I and thought Pete was great. Do so well. The only thing is opening on demand. We'll see how that works. But yeah. It, oh, is it like people have to pay to watch it, like a cinematic price to pay to yeah. watch? Yeah. Well, it's uh, twenty dollars. Okay. Well. Tomorrow. So who, who's got the Who's got that killer? That's my dog, Gertie. Gertie, mommy's on at work. Oh, yeah. She's called me a bitch. <laughs> Don't. It's really, really, really good. The movie, Thank you. Everybody in it is so good. The story is good. It's filmed well. 
um, acting is superb. It's really good. I, I heard Bill Burr kills it. Plus, he's, 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 he's a great. People. A lot of our comics are in it. Yeah, I can't wait to watch. It's I, really I, good. How, how long did you film, Lynn? Um, I, I kept getting more, um, Judd and Pete, they were all so good to me. I, I kept getting more time than I was supposed to get. So no way. I think total, I did like uh, two and a half weeks or something. So I, 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 yeah. I shot, I shot like four, four scenes and I think they're all in there. Yeah. Killer. That's that was killer. exciting. Not all the things I said were in there, but all the scenes are in there. What did that? Fun. What did that feel like for you to think you were done and then be like, "No, we want to keep bringing you back. Can you do more?" No, it was exciting. Oh, it must have been so great. <laughs> even when they were like, "We might just use you in the background," I'm like, "That's okay." <laughs> I was so excited, and you get paid crazy money, so it was fun. Congratulations! But the craziest part is I had scenes in the Rissa Tomei. And um, I'd like to say that I was a professional actress through the whole thing, but it, like the first, like the first time I ran the first scene, <laughs> I really needed to sh like shake it off because I, I, in my head, I wasn't in character. I was just like, oh my god, I'm sitting. <laughs> I, thought, so I thought everybody did a great job. I think that uh, Bill Burr was amazing. Awesome. He was fa awesome. fantastic. Uh, I will, I'm not. Best. I mean, everything was just so good. I, I'm, I'm not being a kiss up. I'm not being a kiss up, but Judd Apatow is a great director. He is he really so, is. he gets the best and out I of everybody. Say, if he, he sort of makes it up a little bit as he goes along as far as calling you and come for another scene or change this or that. Yeah, yeah. It's so easy, you know? He's easy. very, nothing is set in stone. Yeah. And he's very like, do you want to do this again? Do you feel good? Do you want to go again? You know, and it's like, it's very, I've done TV shows that are so much more stressful than that movie. <laughs> uh, that's yeah, great. Judd rocks, man. I worked with Judd on Love and I was like, where's my- uh, I love that show. Which one? I go, where's my line, Love? On Netflix. And, yeah, it, which it's is a fantastic great show. show. But he was like, nah, man, you're just going to say whatever you want in the scenes. And I was yeah. like, wow, this you, you is You improvise, awesome. and then he gives you the lines. Yeah. But then within the story, you improvise. That's great. So great. So this way you come off more natural. I love yeah. that. Thank you, SC. That makes me feel really good because I get in my own head when I watch myself. Well, and knowing that it's happening, I'm going now. I saw it twice already. <laughs> you oh did? Oh my God. Yeah. Aww. Is it is it sad? Will will it make people cry? It's, no. It's sad it and funny. Cry, but it's poignant. It's his story, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it's very poignant and it's it has its moments, but it's it's wonderful. I, shock. I didn't know Pamela was in it. I know, and she's funny. She's I thought such a lovely woman. You know who I loved in it? I I thought Pete he blew me out of the water, but I thought that um the girl who played his girlfriend is great. Isn't she great? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that Judd's really daughter? Oh no, that's his sister. Oh well, she was yeah. great too. No, they were all great. Maud was wonderful. Yeah. I'm telling yeah. you, it, I I do recommend that you're gonna have a good time. We know a lot of people. Yeah. Well, you know what? Oh, you know everybody in it. The whole movie is all our friends. <laughs> but I will, I will say this. It's um, it's really like it's not a chick flick. It's not a guy film. It's it's a great like film that a couple watches. Like when you don't know what you want to watch as a couple, and mm. your boyfriend wants you to watch some dumb shit. Always. And you have some nice romantic movie you want to watch. This is like the perfect combination of the two. I I'm, think. No, I I'm a, I'm a, I'm a watch it. I watched it with my son, and he certainly doesn't go for chick movies. But <laughs> we both liked it so much that a couple of days later I said, let's watch it again. No, oh, that makes me that. happy. Yeah. I That's love cool. that. Whenever I really like a movie, I always watch it twice in a row. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Amazing. I only watched I only watched it once because I wanna I wanna watch it 
it's Saturday when it's available. When everybody's watching it. Now, Lynn. Saturday? Why Saturday? That's the 12th. That's when it comes out. No, tomorrow's the 12th. Friday. Friday. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Saturday. Friday. No, tomorrow. Tonight at it's midnight. Tomorrow. 12, uh, Lynn. Tonight at midnight. I'm an idiot. It is Thursday, Lynn. Well, no, nobody knows what day it is anymore. You know what it is? I didn't know to what today was. I'm yeah. all turned around all yeah. the time. If it, if it weren't for my pills. <laughs> do you want to do, uh, yeah. do you want to hear something awful? I went to go to my storage unit and they moved it to Brooklyn. What? I had a storage unit here in Manhattan and Essie, I hadn't been there in like three years and it's in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> They just moved your stuff? Yeah. You think they'd tell you? <laughs> they said yeah, they like, did, but I can't find it. It's probably in the but, unit. Was it like, did they clip the lock and take it all out and move it? Or yep. It in a they wow. clipped the lock, gave me a new lock, sealed it, put half my shit in their boxes, and threw it in the storage. That's Are you worried? Wow. Some of your stuff's gone? No, I mean, I, who knows? It's a bunch of crap. I mean, it's it's just like, it, it's very weird because I hadn't seen it in three years. So I'm going through stuff and there's boxes of like, look look who you were once. And like, <laughs> <laughs> please, you've only, you've only got- I'm pulling, up, I'm pulling up dresses that are like this big, like these tiny little, I'm like, oh my God, I remember that. And then like newspaper clippings of like rising star. I was like, oh, well, things didn't go with <laughs> Yeah, we the, so we're going to get a new place when we get back to New York. And what we're realizing is we've lived without this stuff, without missing anything for three months. We oh, have it's a yeah. burden. A it's a burden of crap is what it is. Yeah, oh. we've accumulated a lot. Well, How's you guys are looking at years? my storage unit right here. Yeah. So. Yeah. We definitely are. <laughs> <laughs> I had my stuff in storage being in New York three years. I came home and I just sold it all and I was furious that I paid storage for three years. You know? Yeah. You know I know. No, me too. Anymore. I know. I know. That's so true. You're right. You know what I've started doing now? Because I people are getting robbed around here. I I found I found that I don't know why, but in storage I kept like a bunch of like fancy gift bags like from Gucci and Barney's and stuff. And I've been putting dog poop in them, hoping somebody robs me. <laughs> Wow. What neighborhood are you in? That is in the village. A block from the, the cellar. And people are getting robbed? Oh, there was gunshot all last week at, down here. Wow. An, Old school New York. 80s gunshot. New York. Pre this Giuliani. is 80. Dean, this is 80s New York right now. The wow. freaking arch. The arch in Washington Square Park has fucked the police written on it. Oh, my God. Well, it's like the Joker, the Joker movie. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's all. It feels very Gotham. It feels very Gotham here right now, but no, it, it's you, getting a little bit better. I know yeah. a lot of comics go by the cellar and whatever. Are you running into anyone? Um, I haven't. I, I saw. Who did I see? I see Liz a lot, and I call Liz a lot. She's not here. She was in LA in Florida. How do you see her a lot? Well, before she went away, like, when oh. this all started, I saw her. So I don't know when she left. There are three um, apartments like open around the cell. I'm so so she's not in New York even. What oh, was really? she doing in LA? She went to visit her sister in San, uh, I think, did she go to San Diego? Not San Diego. She went, whatever, in LA. And now she's in Florida. She went wow. back. Wow. Okay. Oh, she's in Florida. Good. She she still got her apartment, right? Yeah, yeah. I saw her. It, it was April when I saw her, SD. But I saw her a couple times in a row. There are three apartments open by the cellar, and they're all great, but they're like fifth floor walk ups. I can't do that. Ooh, they what? That, they're like fifth, fifth floor, floor walk ups. They're like they're be, they're one oh. of them. Is like, but you you have to be on the fifth floor, or you it's just a walk up building you don't want to be in. To the fifth floor, you'd have to go up four flights of stairs. Oh, you so they're all fifth floor apartments. They're all they're all of them are high apartments. Do you want me to look in my building? If there's yeah, absolutely, absolutely, it's a walk up. It's a shitty walk up that Benita Chin Giganti used to live in. If it's like a reasonable level, just because we have a dog who has to get walked all the time, like you do, but um, one of the apartments no, I'll look around me. 
I was so excited. I was going to be like, the rent, the, the rent it must be crazy, no? No. Yeah. Things are going for a song. The rental market, everyone thought that the purchasing market would collapse. It didn't. It's being like, they're holding it's the, the rental market. market. But the rental well, market. Well, tons, tons of people moved, man. They moved. We there, yeah. But yeah, you know, there are people in my building that just didn't come back. They just fucking left and said yeah. bye. But do you think and, that the rents are going to go up eventually? Like, do you think you'll be locked in and then the landlord will come and be like, hey, rent's jacked up, buddy? They can't do that. We All of these down here are all like rent controlled mm-hmm. and rent, rent stabilized, I mean. That's uh, good. Uh, <laughs> if you want to look at one, I've got the keys to my neighbors and he's been gone and I've been putting my shit in his apartment and I. I made that the place that I make everyone detox as it is a part of- What a breach of trust. What a wow. breach of trust, Lynn. Just no, a COVID, he knows. COVID container. Uh, yeah, he knows that that's my decontamination zone. The, he the said COVID he didn't care. Container. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When I walked into his apartment, he said over the phone, because he's such a dude, he's like, would you mind just like give him, uh, there's some dishes in this thing. Okay. I dry heaved. There weren't some dishes. The sink was full of dishes. There was poop in the toilet. No! And he, he left for two months and there's like poop. So I flushed it. I cleaned the bathroom. I scrubbed the bathroom for him. I dry heaved eight times. When he came back, I had I had uh, made fresh chicken on my new indoor grill. I put that for him in the thing I had made I had cleaned I put flowers and candles so fuck that yes he's fine with me so using I, it uh, as my as my own private silkwood wow. <laughs> amazing reference how, how how large is his apartment yeah it's very small I've only used the vestibule area and uh, and uh, and I use his refrigerator so I had all my like I had all my extra because I was I have a small refrigerator and I was trying to buy all this stuff because I didn't want to keep going out. Yeah. So I, I, that was really nice. I used his refrigerator for uh, two months. Genius. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know when, when the, when the, uh, the um, COVID started, right bef- before the lockdown and everything, no one went and <laughs> bought another refrigerator. Oh. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know so- who else... You know who else I've seen in the neighborhood is Rose, little Rosie and her her man. Yeah, Tony. Tony. I saw him in the grocery store last week. Oh yeah. Empty. It's such a it's such a big deal when you see someone you know. You're like, hey. Uh, are they, where <laughs> do they where do they, they run up and love them? I've run into that. Yeah. What are they talking about for uh, comedy in New York? Anything on the horizon? I have no idea. Uh, Noam once mentioned that he thinks it maybe it's going to be around August. I mean, Broadway doesn't open till September. We oh, wow. open, uh, third or fourth uh, in the opening lineup. Mm-hmm. And then when it opens, it depends if it's 25% of the capacity, how it's going to work and all of that. I have no idea. I'm waiting for Noam to decide and we'll see, but I don't know. I miss everyone terribly and I'm ready to get back on stage. I mean, oh, you know, I miss the cellar big time. It's so weird to think about. It's like, oh, wow. I, I've been looking at my old calendars and just being like, that was a Friday at the cellar there. I know, me Saturday. too. Like, yeah. Just when going, was the last time any of us went this long without doing stand up? I mean, oh, I've never, never gone more than three days. And yeah, you know, last spot I did was March 12th. Yeah. March 12th uh, my last day. That's a March step- 15th. I think I was with you, Lynn. No, I came in. I, I think mine, I was the last day the cellar was open. Oh, okay. My last day and was, it was like March were, 17th. Okay, mine was 15th. It was sa- Saturday. No, the 14th was a Saturday. We were there together. Or no. Yeah, it was. Because the 15th was a Sunday. I was supposed to do the store that night, and they closed. That's right. Yeah, I did the brunch show on the 15th. Or no, brunch show Saturday, brunch show Sunday, and then the last was Fat Black Sunday so night. Funny, I, I remember <laughs> Noam texted me to cancel the shows. And to everybody on the lineup for the week, I was 
email uh, texting everybody. Unfortunately, as per the governor, we have to close. We don't have a so I have all those text messages to everybody. Aww. Wow. They're important. Yeah. I was that supposed was to be scary. in Vegas that week. You know, I was yeah. going to do Vegas seller that week. People even now, they, they go, is, what's the story with Vegas? Are we opening? No, we're not. Not yet. What do you know? Nobody know. Have you watched the news? Watch the news. Yeah. Not open. Yeah. You want to land on the right side of history with this, medically, you know, all of it. It's just well, I have, since this started, I've been obsessed with the 1800s, like the 1896 and on. I really have, because that's when the turn of the century, when everything was happening new with electricity and everything in New York. And then in the early 1900s was when the Spanish flu hit. And it was not good. And it was very similar to this. Like, I, I just watched, uh, read all this stuff. And they have all the pictures of the mailmen and everyone with the masks on. And I'm like, oh, my God. 80 years later, we're doing the same shit. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's the yeah. exact same thing. And they have signs everywhere that says, like, don't spit because people were getting tuberculosis. The problem is that the, the CDC is changing. Oh, uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. All the time. I guess they're not sure. So as things come up, um, they said that the particles in the air, if you sneeze or cough, they linger for three hours. Yeah, the video. yeah. So somebody did, and then an hour and a half, you walk through it, you would breathe it. And oh, yeah. the surfaces that they thought it lingers longer, it lingers less. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it, and, and then so next week it'll be something totally different. Whoever is the idiot that walks without the mask, you know? Well, oh, what about the worst here is the joggers. People jog and they don't have a mask on and they're just hey, 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 breathing. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's yeah. difficult to is jog it? with the mask. You can't breathe well. That's the thing. Yeah. We're about to get yeah. to the next summer, which you can't breathe well without a mask. I mean, it's like it's a stuffy city. Yeah. yeah. And you think that you're jogging by yourself on the trail and it's okay without the mask. What you right. don't realize that the, the, the germs are lingering for three hours after that. What That's we know to be as careful as we can until we Well, I mean, is that is that true? Because they said that the, it stays on surfaces for hours upon hours and hours, and everybody was just power washing their groceries when they got home. I still yeah. do. They changed it a couple of days ago. It was on the news that they see. Right. This is the new recommendation, the new findings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it all changes like every day. Like the whole thing with unemployment. Like I go on, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, now you qualify for this. I'm like, what? The, I, I've done nothing. How do I? How did that change? Yeah, it's because the government they keep coming up with new. Okay, my friend just called and said you should get a small business loan. I'm like, whatever. I have bad credit. I'll try. The French just discovered a dog, like they can train dogs to smell COVID with 95% accuracy. Yeah. I really? I that article today. That feels really hard to believe with the smell of the French lingering. They smell armpit smell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Who's smelling French armpits? These dogs are soldiers. These cool dogs. dogs. Uh, They're going to have PTSD. I'll, I'll tell you something crazy. Uh, a friend of mine owns a restaurant up the street. And his uncle uh, tested for antibodies and he got positive. So he said, oh, I got antibodies, cool. A month later, he tested again, said no antibodies. So it's like these really? tests, they, oh, yeah, yeah, they said the test is only 37% accurate right now on the antibodies. So that's Dean, not even a test. Dean, do you, know which yeah. test he, do you know which test he got? Did they take the blood? Yeah, they did the blood on me too. I went to Kaiser and got the blood done. Uh, they did the blood, the newest test, which is that's wild. Amazing. I know, thirty-seven percent accuracy. When did I, you do it? I did it. No antibodies. No. I did it as well. No antibodies. antibodies. But I, I, don't I, think I will, the test I will is say this. Accurate. I will wow. say this. I drink a lot of hot water. Yeah. Because they say it's it's such a, a respiratory thing that warm water. I, I've been doing research on everything. Warm water, like. It's good for just if you have a cold because they can't live 
usually the germs can't live in the warm, in the hot. And um, I've been drinking a lot of warm water. And the minute I don't feel well, I go lay down. Like if I, if I just feel run down or I'm tired, I just go lay down. And I've been doing that yeah. for three months. And it's working very well for me, knock on wood. And I am looking okay. out after my seven-year-old grandson. Oh, of course. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. They just touch everything. Children just touch everything. It's what they do, you know? Yeah, but with, there's uh, home cooling. He doesn't go to school. He's like, we're 24 7 together. Mm. Oh, oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, that's quality time, SD. Oh my God. Quality time. Great. Esty's, Esty's like, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done. I've, I've Makes you my... miss the days and you, you can hit them. You can't hit them now. I, my, I made my, my niece and nephew came to visit me. They're 19 and 21. And I made them. Oh, was, they're vectors. They're vectors. These goo, the goofy kids. I was like, you've been, you've been quarantining and everything, right? Yakety yak. They come yeah. over here. They have a couple cocktails because I'm cool uncle. And then they're like, oh yeah, no, I hooked up. I met someone on Bumble. I was like, oh, what are you doing? I have high blood pressure. I'm not a healthy woman. Oh. I would have sprayed them both with Lysol and called them ungrateful mother. I mean, there Get was out. nothing I could do at that point. There was nothing I could do. They were in this. Yes, house. you could. You could release them on the mountain in the Catskills for the <laughs> night and let them yeah. learn what they've done. High stakes to them and let black bears have a go. Black bears. I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. My blood pressure is 100% back to normal since I haven't done comedy in three months. <laughs> Hilarious. The, the guy's like, I don't know what you're doing, but your blood pressure is on the money. And I was like, uh, yeah, I'm uh, not doing comedy and traveling. <laughs> Maybe your body is telling you to change profession. <laughs> 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 That's all I kept thinking was like, Oh yeah, this job will kill me. But it, you know what else will kill you? Sitting at home, man. That's that's a nightmare. Totally. You know? I've been I've been looking for anything else I can do, and I just can't figure it out. I'm trying. Yeah. I might have to just sell everything in my storage unit. That's an idea. Yeah. Why not? You haven't looked at it in three years, Lynn. Three years. Yeah. What do you need yeah. it for, Lynn? I don't know. Some of it, some of it isn't even clothes. Some of it is just bags of papers and stuff. Oh, throw that shit out. Get yeah. rid of it. I bought a shredder. It got flooded. So all of my papers, all of my like old comic books, all my, it got taken away from me for me. And then. But that's what I mean. If this storage unit, if they'd even been like everything got ruined, I would be like, fine. Yeah. Are you in a nightclub or something? Where, where are you at? <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought we like, all said the same thing. You I'm, look like I'm you're in a mansion. Of this giant house in the Catskills. And it's like, this is the game's basement. Wow. It's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's, and well, the upstairs is lovely. I'll take you guys on a tour. Come on, want. take us. Yes. Take us. Okay. Yes. Wait, I well, feel like, I feel well, like. Mayron, I feel like you're going to open a closet upstairs and Ian's going to be sitting in it. Oh, yeah, no, Ian's in it. <laughs> yeah, who's, Ian's who, actually whose in place the is that? Whose place been, is that? I've been he rented it. About it. Yeah, let's oh, rent it. I want to show them the house. How much okay. was it? Cheap? Huh? Was oh, it's not cheap. cheap? It's not cheap. When we were supposed to like rent it with a bunch of people and yeah. they bailed. So oh. here's my husband. Hi, Hi Abby. This is the uh, snack station, which is insane. Oh my right? god! Right, there's candies and then there's chips, which is so. Diabetes city. But I eat less of it. This is you're the living in Willy Wonka's. <laughs> it's so, a little bit, a little bit. This is the the guy who lives here. He's a big stoner, and then he's like an audiophile. So awesome! Amazing music, and then four bedrooms upstairs. There's what? Like a TV room. <laughs> Wait, there's Let another floor? Yeah. There's another yeah. floor? I mean, we have, it's, it's a little untidy. I would have cleaned up if I knew. Is, How is long are you there? Till We're here for 12 more days. If anybody wants to come, this invitation is standing. Oh, please, you just told us about your disgusting, horrible relatives that were there. Ah! You're not wrong, and it runs in the family, obviously. This is a TV room. 
Hi there, happy TV. We brought the PS4, so nice. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> the laundry room, it's, I mean, we have, we're, we're doing laundry. You're not doing a good job of showing it to us. Let, let us see. Well, Lynn, it's like, there's shit out. Okay, so this is, this is where we, um, because I'm still paranoid about groceries, this is where we leave things to. Job. I have that too. I have that too. So this is the the let it die station, let COVID die station. <laughs> where Mine is my neighbor's apartment. <laughs> genius, absolute genius about another like. Open the door, put everything in. Can we? Is there any way to light outside? Because the woods are just beautiful. The woods. Why are you getting sweaty? Are you nervous showing us this? No, I. When have I not been sweaty? At anyone? Anyone remember me not being sweaty at any? Where's point? your fan? Oh, I, know you, you don't you have a, I need my fan. I need my fan. And then here's outside. Don't you smoke a bowl on the camera? <laughs> um, you can't see the beautiful woods I'm surrounded by, but it, it's like. It's exceptionally beautiful out here. Let's do this in the morning. I'll do it yeah. in the morning. All I right, now. Picture, I have so many pictures. They're like, you can't go like three blocks in either direction, not that there are blocks here without hitting a waterfall. Oh, oh that's now, nice. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's legitimately, and I think I feel a little bit of guilt, a little bit like. Why? Out of, not guilt, but like, I don't feel in sync with the rest of the world because you know, when my niece is happy nephew, because he's happy and he's comfortable. I'm happy and comfortable. And there's so much space and I don't run into anyone. And we go on hikes and literally don't see anyone. We hiked seven miles, saw nobody. Nobody. Like I live. That's for okay. You're in sync. You just need to call some celebrities in LA. They're all living the same, like Oprah all and all them. The like That's we know we're we're in it together. No, you're not. I can see the fucking mansion behind you. <laughs> Yeah, it is a bit of that. It hasn't been that hard. It really hasn't. Yeah, you're right, Lynn. I find it a little bit annoying too when they come out on TV. We we are in it together. <laughs> and well, they put a hoodie. The hoodie is supposed to make us feel like they're being authentic. No, right. they're wearing a hoodie. Black and white to look sad. I think they should put their their bank account numbers up there. We're all in this together. Just right, right behind them, it's like six million in the bank. You're like, I don't think we're in this together. Yeah, they probably got bailed out. Yeah. 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 As it, and for me, as of August, I'm a squatter in this apartment. <laughs> all right, Lynn, your turn. Show us your apartment now. Mayron showed his place. You show us yours. Well, this is my little living room, but I, you have to understand, I'm trying to clean everything. And so I'm changing around. So stuff looks a little cluttered because it's going to storage, but, and it's a tiny apartment. And this is my little living room. And I just, I'm making this my little office nook. Can you see it? It looks like and a little office nook. I like great. it. This is my little living Aww. room. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so cute. Thank you. And that's Gertie. Hi, Gertie. Like I'll show you. Now, this is my little kitchen, but wait. I want to see Estes too. Wait. <laughs> so, wait, this is all my uh, breakfast area, but that's all going to storage. Oh my God, that's so nice. And it is a very nice place. Now, right now, it looks horrible because of the way everything is staged, but you guys make me feel better. And then this was up my bar, but it's, and it, look, all my extra food supplies but that's turning into a coffee station. And this is my new little indoor grill that I'm very excited about. And I stand Hilarious. here. I'm so weird, you guys. I've been having all these little parties by myself like with the dog. <laughs> and then we go down here. Oh, I actually made my bed. Oh, so wow. this is the hall. You've done that, like, and then so this is my little bedroom. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. It's a Isn't it cute? Place. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Good size. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's okay for one person. That's my bathroom. It's nice. Not bad. Perfect. Oh, you want to see? So that's my neighbor's apartment. You want to go in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going in. Lynn, Wait, Lynn okay. go to the neighbor's apartment. Gertie's <laughs> looking at me like, Mom, we should not do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go into my neighbor's apartment. He's off with some girl. He's not watching. 
<laughs> okay, this this is the funniest part about this. It's hot as hell. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was that, Lynn? I dropped the cave. Is it hot in New York right now? Yeah. It's humid. It's gross. Oh, it's, it's 96 here today. You guys have to see this. I'm sorry. When we walk in, this Ian. Yeah. Okay. No, his name's Ian. I want to make sure he's not home oh. before I start talking about, about him. So the first time I walked in, the light, look, wait till you see it. This is a hall light to his apartment. Oh, yeah. See? Is that creepy or what? Okay. It changes no. colors. Look, that that's on his door. And look at his bathroom. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a bachelor's toilet. It's you have paint. no idea. And I cleaned I it and put those flowers that are dead. I don't see anything wrong. Well, Just this is where I'm giving him this. And well, I put that bath mat down. There's a big hole under it. Oh my God. And then this, so this whole area, I had this baby gate up. And this whole area was my decontamination zone. Huh. When you walked in. <laughs> Wait wow. a minute. And then <laughs> this is his kid. I said, I got everything out of here. That's it. That's the whole tour with Lynn. Now, Esty, will you show us yours? Because Esty's is cool, and I've never seen it live. No, that's not my apartment. I'm staying with my Oh, son. that's right. You're your son. OK, what can you show us? Is Joe awake? Joe was not. Yeah, he is, but he <laughs> wouldn't come. I, I, a few times I tried to get him over, but no. He won't do Where's it. Your dog, eh? Where's your dog, Esty? He's shy. Uh, the dog is sleeping somewhere. Oh. Probably went in with Joe to the other room. Oh. oh, that's right. You have the new dog, too. Yeah. How old? Oh, my gosh. They make a difference. He's a pumpski. He's a pumpski. He's six months old. Oh. What, kind, what kind is he? Pumpski. It's oh, right. Indian and a husky. Oh wow. my God. They're so cute. Fluffy. That's so I cute. I love a dog. I'll never see a dog. I want a dog. Boy, I, I tell you what, though, you have not had a restful, peaceful time, Esty. <laughs> yeah, right? She's been doing this so much. With a six month old puppy and a little boy. <laughs> Come, here. Come here, Tony. Come here, Tony. Oh, Okay, let's see. Oh, yes. Yes, what? Can you, you can't see. No, I'm excited to see. Is he being Come on, Tony. <laughs> Tony. Tony. Come on. Tony. Oh, get it, Tony. He's lying down at my feet. I can't pick him up. Oh. Tony, you want to get on camera? Come here. Tony. It's dog time. It's dog, it's dog o'clock. Ian, what are you eating? Come here. He, he doesn't want to come up, too. Come here. Help. Here he goes. You look, see him? Look in the camera. Look. Oh, goodness, Gertie. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Look at the there puppy. There's Tony. Look I want to see him. Where is he? <laughs> Tony. What a beautiful boy. Oh, he's beautiful. Look, look, Gertie, look. Yeah, dude. Do oh, you look? Come here. Come here. Tony. Hello, Tony. Yeah. Why Tony's is your breath cool. Smell? Oh, your face smells pukey. Did you get sick? Tony's got I it. love you. Tony's cool. Tony's got a yeah, he's beautiful. He is absolutely you. beautiful. Love him. Gorgeous. I've How old is he? Gorgeous. He's six months, Esty? Yeah. Wow. Great dog. Great dog. Yeah, he's a little weird, though. <laughs> he's, so, he's so gorgeous. The other day he was just lying and crying and I got so scared, grabbed him, went to the vet. He was really crying. And, and what was wrong with him? So I had to take him to an emergency vet. Oh my God. Everything's fine. Yeah. He's just crying. And my son says, oh, he, he figured it out to get his way. And oh. he's fine and everything. And today he started crying again. Mm. He was probably watching the news. He's whimpering, and then really, the cry gets. Oh, he's gonna—he's gonna, he, he's gonna be a comedian for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
just crying to get his way. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to take care of my okay, grandson. Yes, Bye, SD. We miss you and love you. I miss you, SD. Bye, SD. Soon, hopefully. You. What's I'll the see matter? you later, SD. Bye. Bye, Tony. Bye, Hi to Izzy. Bye. I Bye, will. Tony. I just realized that people are watching this. <laughs> no, no. The, are they? <laughs> and we're just sort of, oh my God, showing off our neighbor's apartment, showing off a house. Is not I'm a usually so aware that we're on this, but this time, because it's all of us, I just got completely out of it. I, I'm like, oh my God, what did I just do? Yeah. Yep. Same. You showed you all your stalkers your place. Do you know I had a friend, a friend in here, a friend in here once, and he was a young comic that I knew from the road, and I went into the bathroom, and when I came out, my um, agent was like, "Lynn, do you know that somebody just posted your apartment online?" And he was taking pictures of the apartment while I was in the back. Why? And posting wow. it. People. <laughs> Is that insane? I started screaming wow. at him. I'm like, "Are you fucking nuts?" <laughs> what was he doing that for? Did you kick him out? Well, what? yeah, I did. <gasps> yeah, I did. I said, get your shit, get out. Because I don't have any problem. Obviously, I just showed you my apartment. I have no problem. I, it was the sneakiness. It was the idea that he did it. I was on television at the time. The idea that he was doing it, like, look, look where I am and look at and putting it online. It was weird. Oh, not okay. That's not. Hey, are you eating cherries? Uh-huh. I'll pick that up. Every, hey, hold on. Everybody say hi on my Instagram here. Little Instagram. Hi. What's up? Hi. Don't post <laughs> Lynn's apartment. She'll kick you out. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't post without show. telling me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So you, know, you know what that would be like, Ian? It would be like you wake up and a girl is taking a picture of you or a video of you sleeping and then she puts it on like Instagram. Yeah. No, it's not okay. It's an invasion of privacy. It's bullshit. If it's secret, it's it's a dicky move. Yeah. If I ever find out who it is, I'll kill him. <laughs> I already did. It was Mayron. No, wait, Lynn, is your neighborhood violent still? Yeah. It is? Why a little bit. Are you scared to go out? A little bit, but I feel better now that I have my poop bag. Mm. <laughs> and I'm I made a, a weapon uh, last week because I got really scared. And then I was, I, I, I don't, I, normally I have like a baseball bat or something in the house. And I used to have like a little dagger and I just don't have any of that anymore. Uh -huh. So I got scared and I, I taped rocks to a, a cane that used to belong to my blind friend. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's a little see it. Dagger. Where is it? Where is it? I'm not showing it to you. I'm embarrassed we, that we I got to see your rock cane, your malice. No, it's it, my my purge, my purge stick, <laughs> just in case something. Yeah. You really want to see it? Yeah. Of course I do. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> a cane with a rock on it, like in case shit goes down. <laughs> blind man's cane with oh, a hilarious. blind man's cane with rocks, scotch <laughs> taped to it. It's yeah. No, they're yeah. duct taped to it. What am I, an amateur? Oh where is God. it? Now I don't know where I put it, though. Hold on. Duct tape. Because I got embarrassed that I made it. And I was like, that is, you're weird. And then, um, but I, I was so freaked out that day, that one day, and when I saw those kids with the, with the uh, face masks, and they were running down the street with all the loot, and it just freaked me out. Yeah. With all and the loot. And, and and people have come in off the roof before. What? To this building, yeah. Are you on the yeah. top floor? No, I'm not going to tell you. I just said that. And I'm oh. not going to tell you. Let me tell you exactly where my apartment is if you want to. Lynn, Lynn tells people where her apartment is during her act. That's true. Oh, where it is. It was so funny. But, um, yeah, it's like, <laughs> I'm not going to tell him now. If you didn't see the act, forget, I'm not telling <laughs> so you. Why? Is, so you could there just, is something different about saying this. it live than saying it online. Oh, my. Oh my yeah. So why did I make this weapon if I can't find it? I, I don't know where I put it. Well, I mean, 
you know, the, I think go chemical. If we're going to fight back. <laughs> you have mates? Oh, people in my, na- no, I don't. It, people, I'm such a klutz. I would spray myself with that. Um, people in my neighborhood were all buying, um, go, like th- one of the older women that live upstairs. I told her I made a weapon and I was embarrassed. And she goes, oh no, look what I have. And she had, um, in her purse, she had hairspray. Like a little trial size thing, a hairspray to spray in someone's face. Hilarious. Nothing else. Hairspray. Instead of just buying a can of mace, she just well, goes. Uh, really, Pete, where mace. the you fuck do you even buy a can of mace? Where does one go to buy? She's a uh, paint a mini oh, hairspray black. You can't. You easy. can't get. You can't get mace in New York City. Oh, you can't. No, that's what. No, you can't. That's what I'm saying. Oh wow. Well, you but look. But look what I found. Yeah, but she's an older lady. But I have this. Okay. I found well, in my storage unit. <laughs> so I can't find where my, I'm gonna find my stick immediately, but I did have this. Lynn, Pretty, like, Lynn's, Lynn's just gonna start a Black Lives Matter chant to blend in with them. No, I, I was, <laughs> hello? Do you, the I was, <laughs> hello? Oh. Hello? That is intimidating. <laughs> Oh. Right, right now the neighbors oh, are like, what the fuck is Lynn doing? I know, he's not there. He's the one that would hear it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that the alarm? Yeah, that was the alarm, yeah. for sure. That's, that's it again. Hello? Oh, this was all working last week. What happened? Oh, my God. Hilarious. Hello? <laughs> Ian, Ian, what neighborhood are you in? It lights up on your mouth, which is I'm in Williamsburg. Oh, yeah. How is it over there? Is it all weird? Great. Really chill. Relax. Yeah, Yeah, Lynn, with that, I mean, that, can you keep making more of that noise? Uh (laughs) Lynn Lynn definitely doesn't want anyone on the podcast listening. Yeah. Try it, try it, try it like seven or eight more times. Yeah. Lynn's trying to walk the room right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a question? Uh, where Where is our drinking and Hello. substance use level? I know that you don't. I don't either. Yeah. None of us party. I drink, but um, I really haven't been while I've been in um, quarantine because I just felt like a slippery slope. And I'm a, I've been alone a lot. So like I, the bar on the corner opened and I, I, my girlfriend has the backyard. So a couple of times when I've gone there, I've taken like a little cocktail, but I'm not really drinking. There's an open bar in New York. I mean, there's a lot of them open and people are standing on the sidewalks. It's getting a little ridiculous actually. That's weird. Yeah. Wait, no. the bars are open? No. They're opening. They sell them oh. like, it, like, it's like a to go, like you can mm-hmm. get a drink. A to go, a to go drink. All the bars just have a table at the front door with like cans of beer, the wine, liquor, and then they just sell it to you to go and you just drink in the street. It's crazy. Ian, wow. I love you so much. I feel like we're watching your, it's like, did you see that movie, The Room? Oh, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> like you're eating in your little, little room. You're like, kitchen, this is kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, have you seen a tell lately? Yeah, we met up a couple times. How's he doing? How He's is all right. he? He's good. You know, yeah. I, I've been, I have my bicycle, so I've been fortunate to ride around the city. And every morning I, I either ride in the city or I go into different parts of Brooklyn or whatever. But I, I was riding around town before, you know, civil unrest. And it was like desolate. I laid down yeah. in the middle of Fifth Avenue. It was I weird. Saw that photo. Yeah. I saw that. It was really, really weird. And then now, you know, I, I, I haven't really. I've been in Manhattan, and everything's boarded up. Uh, but the boards are slowly coming down in the, in are the they? West Village. Where? No, they're not. You don't think so? Tell me where, because I I've been out every day, and I haven't seen them coming down yet. Some of them never went, like, didn't really go up. Some of the bars, they just didn't really have them up yet. But, like, oh, all okay. of Bleecker Street, the cellar, all those places, they're all covered. 
Yeah, all the Whole Foods, everything is just completely boarded up. Yeah, all the CBS on Sixth Avenue, y- you can go in, like you can go into the places, but they're mm-hmm. boarded. How long do you Where, think wonder- it'll last? I think they're going to bring it down this week for sure, but I don't think they. I'm. I didn't mean to like be so attacking about that. Oh, that's okay. I wonder where uh, where did they get the plywood in the city, man? That's wild. <laughs> people went out and scrambled and got it from like yeah. Lowe's and shit. Like like crazy people, they ran out and got it. Yeah. Wow, man, it's been a good time to be investing in uh, plywood. <laughs> And so many things you're an idiot. I yeah. cared about before. <laughs> Toilet paper, mm-hmm. hand sanitizer, plywood. Zoom. Yeah, Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. Zoom. Yeah. Ro- rocks and duct tape for Lynn. Yep. I, I police, police, police siren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long. Yeah, if we just invested in some megaphones, man, Lynn, Lynn would keep us rich forever. I use my yeah. megaphone. I use my megaphone to scream "thank you" at seven o'clock. Oh, oh, we do it. It's, eight, it's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock in LA, which is a trip. When they do the thank you to the essential workers. Yeah, that'd be great o'clock. when that ends. I would when, <laughs> scrubs and just when, stay when 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 everyone got the memo and a couple of people didn't, and they're like, "Yeah, they're like shut the fuck up." I yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's back, over. Yeah. Back to normal. I just know, people right? being mean to each other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't. You know, it, it has been weird. Like at seven, Gurney and I would run to the window. If I was making dinner, no matter what, we'd stop everything, go to the window, and neighbors across the way that I've never known in all these years, we'd wave to each other and they're like, have a good dinner. We'd all like wave, you know, have a good night. Is that weird? Yeah, I, mean, I wonder what true. it's like now. Well, you know, all I know is like, smash cut a month later and everyone's like fuck you well, that's the thing yeah. that's the that's the part that i think i'm going to be most weirded out by because for three months i've been living an idyllic life and i think a lot of people have like upped their sort of domesticity and general kindness and things are going to go yeah. back to the way that they were and it's just going to be such a stark contrast to like the self-care cooking at home loving each other like we did all of this stuff so right and in like three months from now we're just gonna go back to being i honestly think my favorite thing about the whole quarantine not the 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 the, uh black lives uh matter movement i'm so glad it's happened and to me that's just been devastating like i i i was getting through the covid without crying or anything but (laughs) i cried all last week i just sobbed And um, and I I just felt so horrible, and I've called every black friend I have and apologized for everything. Shut up. I Dean and I were laughing because like, oh, I feel so bad. You must be getting so many calls. He's like, all I've been doing is white nurturing. Oh my god. Nurturing, honey. He's like, I'm like, you have to put that in your act because it was so funny. He goes, that's all I do is talk white people off the ledge all day long. That's so that funny. D- Dean Edwards? Yeah. Yeah. That's and I'm, I'm like, I know. God bless him. I, I am making every black person I see, I'm like, hello. How are you? They're like, oh, motherfucker. Can I just live? Like, yeah. Leave me alone. I try to smile at them from behind a mask and they have no idea what's happening. Oh, well, that's just the case in New York. But you know what? That's because you have nice, you're, you have good work. All my Botox is gone. My so Botox I smile and people good. know I'm smiling. You can see it. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. hi. I already have an appointment literally for the day after we get back. I was going to get it done the day before this all happened. And I was like, oh, I'll do it next week. God damn it. <laughs> no. yeah. But my, that's my favorite thing about the quarantine is how ugly everyone's looked together. <laughs> Like, I mean, like you're watching, you're watching like Hoda and you're like, whoa, pull the camera back. What the fuck? But Hoda could get someone to do it. But if she gets it done, everyone will clock it. Well, attack her. So they all have to be the only one that we've given a pass to is Celine Dion. And I believe that she just looks like that all the time. Like when she did that concert and she was like, and there was breeze blowing through her hair. And she was in that long, elegant dress that matched her drapes and i'm like but that's how she sits around that I, I think that's her normal day yeah yeah well but god gave her those teeth originally she had to get those 
do, do you know what I mean? It's like, it all balances out. She had those fucking, you know, summer teeth. You know, she was born with those French Canadian summer teeth. And then, but maybe, you know, oily skin. So she's all right. That's my I, uh, I, uh, I love Lady Gaga when she's all in her regular. I love it. I, I love it. I loved that concert and we got to like, they were all in the whatever part of their house that they didn't want anyone, like they, the, the rest of the family never goes to. Yeah, <laughs> some of it. No opulence. Yeah. <laughs> some of it looked like weird shelters. I was like, there's no, you live there? What are you drinking, yeah. Mayron? And then the, the new video came out today of a, uh, of, of all these people who are like, I'm sorry. Did you guys see the, oh, yeah. the mass apology yeah. video? I yeah. mean, what with the like, fuck was that? With with uh, Jesse from Breaking Bad and Ron yeah. Howard's daughter. Oh, who for to black, to black and brown people? Yeah. yeah, just it's all white people being like, I will do better. Okay, like, that's annoying. That's oh, annoying. Oh. That mass apology is racist in and of yeah, itself. Yeah, you like should that. only do it to eat black persons individually one at a time like Lynn is. You yeah, shouldn't exactly. do it all. Exactly. That's right. They can make you feel better. That's right. <laughs> That's not right. But I mean, I think, I guess it's it's very nice. I didn't see it. I was just being a dick. But, but um, no, it's a dickish, it's it's a totally weird video. It's completely off yeah, It's it's, it's like the Gal Gadot well, thing, but way worse. For the record, it's the kind of thing that you can only do if you're incredibly camera trained which is like the height of insincerity. Do you know well, what I mean? And yes, like, you're right. I'm gonna be like, I'm hey, I, I gotta wrap, we gotta wrap this up guys. All right. Well, I wanna make one point before you do. Go ahead. I didn't apologize to every person on the street <laughs> that I don't know. I've called good friends and, <laughs> and talked about things and just talked about things and said, I, I feel sorry. I feel like there's lots of things when none of us ever thought about. There, I, I want. I want to say you're a good. Thing. You're a good person and a good friend, Lynn. That's why. I don't know. I but I do feel like there's a lot. All I know is for a week I fell asleep listening to helicopters, and it scared the fuck out of me. And then it dawned on me how many like little kids in South Central and shit have to hear that every night. And I was. I can't believe I've never thought about that. It really made me feel bad. <laughs> I was like, I try to write backwards. I just suck. I love you all is what I was trying to say. Oh, there it <laughs> is. started out good. Yeah, yeah, it started out good and then it just went to Thank shit, Mayron. Then it just looked like you were having a brain tumor. <laughs> yeah, it looked like you just started stroking yeah. out. Like you were trying you were trying to do some yeah. therapy in front of us. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're doing like art therapy about when you got molested when you were a kid. It touched me <laughs> here. Nice. This started to be nice. We started ending it on a nice note on something yeah. that we were all really thoughtful about and that it turned into this. Well, it was good all to right. see you guys. Great to see you. I love you guys and I hope be you safe. I love you guys. Love I you love and miss now. you all. I love you and miss you.